Yeah, so it wasn't just the flag that burned. The fire actually traveled up the side of the restaurant. So when staff arrived this morning, they were still pretty shaken. But they got right to work. They started to clean the place up. And you can see behind me, it's already back open for business with an even larger pride flag flying. It's 1.30 Sunday morning in Soho, and a white SUV driving down Prince Street stops in front of the French restaurant Little Prince. A woman with red hair runs up and uses a lighter to set their Make America Gay Again pride flag on fire. The stunt could have easily turned into a serious situation had the sole employee inside the closed bistro not caught the flames and called the fire department in time. By Monday morning, it became apparent how bad the arson could have been. The greenery growing on the entrance was charred. The metal framing out front burnt and brittle. The windows shattered. It was disgusting. The Little Prince owner said he's shaken by the attack. His staff, who considered the restaurant their safe place for more than a decade, scared. These kind of acts are desperate acts committed by people who are just consumed with hate and filled with hate. This comes after three flags burned in Harlem at the Alibi Lounge in 2019. Little Prince had its previous pride flag stolen last year. I grew up in New York City and there is absolutely no way that there is some kind of secret anti-LGBTQ movement that's going on. My opinion, kids happened all through 2020. People just burn stuff, people just trash things. This flag, is five times the size of the original flag. By 11 a.m., council member Eric Botcher was hanging a new pride flag against a blackened facade, the smell of char still wafting from its bricks. So the woman who did this, we had a lot more flags where that came from. We're not going anywhere. So as you saw, police have a pretty clear picture of that woman. They are still looking for her tonight, and she's in a lot of trouble. She faces both arson and hate crime charges on top of that. In Soho, Ashley Rodriguez, Fox 5 News.